So the next thing I want to do is do a quick bifold door lesson. And these are pretty straightforward. I need a uh, interior room in here first. So what I'm going to do is literally split the space in half. Um, in fact, you know what I think I'm going to do is make a 15-foot room off of this wall. So I'm going to go off to that 15 feet. And I'm going to come over this way. And I'm going to make a 15-foot room in that direction. Okay. I'm going to offset uh, four inches since we're now we're on interior spaces. And I'm going to extend those. And I don't need these anymore. I don't need those anymore. I can go ahead and trim this out now. I can trim these out. You can do this as you go, or you can do it when you're all finished. Um, really doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to draw a closet. So we need a closet so we can do bifold doors. You got to remember that the smallest closet, as far as the depth you can have, is 24 inches. So I went here, 24 inch offset. I'm going to go ahead and offset four inches again. And I'm going to make this closet, um, let's just say six feet wide. So I'll go offset um, 72 inches. And I'll offset again four inches. Okay, so I've pretty much got my closet boundary defined. Do some trimming. Heck's going on with trim. Yeah, my computer is acting up on me again. There we go. All right, so I can trim that, trim that, trim here, and trim right there, okay? Um, so I'm going to put a, this is a six-foot opening. Let's say I want to put a uh, five-foot door in here, all right, um, which is going to leave me six inches on each side. Remember, you got to factor in that you need a minimum of three inches on the side of a door to an adjacent wall. Um, so you, get, you do have to do, you know, maybe a check first. To make sure that's going to work. Um, you could obviously, if I center the door, um, you get a midpoint on each one of these lines. So if I center it here, it's going to be apparently shifted over this way. If I center it here, it'll look centered from the outside, but it will be shifted over this way on the inside, the difference of the wall thickness. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line from here to here. And what did I say? It was going to be a five foot opening. So I'll offset it 30 inches to either side. And if you're suspicious at all, you want to go ahead and check and make sure you still do have that three inch space in here. Um, I can see that I do, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. Um, but I could check it right now. Uh, remember this tool right here. If I type in LI spacebar after I select something, it'll tell me the exact distance I have. And it says I have four inches. Okay. So uh, these are not, uh, these are actually pieces of the wall. These are the ends of the wall now. So let's go ahead and color code those correctly. And bifolds are pretty easy. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to start <clears throat> with a line. And this line is going to come down here at a 45 degrees relative to, not for, a true for, 45 is up here, remember, but it's 45 relative to, the wall that you've cut the opening in okay and this is just a symbol this is a way that i was taught on how to draw this block there's a hundred ways to do it um, once you've drawn it once my recommendation is copy it and use it over and over again um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say well remember a bifold looks like this right so whatever this space is is divided into one two pieces and whatever this space is, is divided into one, two pieces, right? So if this whole space was uh, 60 inches, that means half of this is 30, which means that half of that is 15. So I'm going to go at 15 is the distance. You got to remember that formula, right? You use the at symbol, the distance. Angle 
and the angle on this is going to be, um, let's see, well, if this was 360, then it's 45 back, so it's 315, right? Piece of cake. All right, so now what you're going to do now is you're going to mirror this. Once I figured out the angle once, I don't have to uh, worry about it anymore. I'm using a borrowed mouse right now, and it seems like it's a little glitchy. And it's almost like I don't have polar on here. Here we go. Okay. No, I don't want to delete that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this door three quarters of an inch or, or an inch and a half thick, So which means I offset it 0.75 to either side. So I go 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. And once I've offset it, I just go ahead and take a circle and, oh wait, did I do that one? Ah, oh, this, it's fine. 1.5 works great. Um, <clears throat> I take a circle, I'm going to go diameter two. I'm going to take my circle and then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to drop it right there and right there. Okay. And now all you have to do is you don't need anything in the middle. The two middle ones can go away. And then everything else can just trim. Okay, so there's that. And then you can just trim what's inside of this circle as well. And then you just trim what's inside of this circle as well. Um, as long as it's something that works for you, and I can tell what it is, it will work for me too. Um, I can copy this now, and I can go right over to here. And place it right there. And now I've got a set of bifold doors. Okay, You don't have to dimension these, because when you get all done with all of it, you're going to... Um, create a, a door and window schedule, which is like a chart that's going to keep track of these for you. <clears throat> um, and what I would do again, just like I said, is, you know, once you've gone to all that trouble, this mouse is just terrible that I'm using, you know, why not go ahead and mirror it? Now you've got the same set of doors that could work on an opposite wall, right? And you can do it one more time. I'm not going to take you through doing that over and over again, but that's up to you, right? So if this, if you had the same closet on the back side of this, and a lot of times you do actually, a lot of houses will be constructed this way where, you know, you might have this and this, and then this portion of the wall on that side is deleted and makes a closet from the other side. So that's really common, um, super easy way to, to do that. So bifold doors, done.